Good morning. Lovely to see you. The day began as many do when the Speaker of the House of Commons is in his Lancashire constituency. There you go. How many selfies do you generally do on a Friday when you're wandering around Chorley? Quite a few. <laughs> but this is not a normal day in Chorley. Mr Speaker, she said, are you going to host it in your district? The she in the anecdote is Nancy Pelosi. What does she know about Chorley so far? What have you told her? Not a lot. <laughs> it's the surprise that's going to get her. And so, this weekend, the G7 Speakers' Summit Hello, is being held here. Right. But before we get to that, there's the intriguing matter of Lindsay Hoyle's pets and their names. You know, the fact that Boris is the parrot, his, his feathers are a bit unkempt, you know. He, and, and the fact is, he's, he's there, and he repeats himself a lot. Does the Prime Minister know that you've got a parrot named after I him? I think everybody does. Betty Boothroyd always asks about the dog. And how's Betty going on? I'll tell me that when I get home. Brilliant! There was also a dog called Gordon and Maggie the tortoise. Lovely to see you. Oh, well, Mr Speaker, let me... I think you see the panto season has, has just come early. Order. If it is, it's certainly behind you. Prime Minister. His wits is matched by a seriousness when it comes to the threats faced by democracy and politicians. And I always say we've got to put the protection because it's about making sure the MPs can go out and meet the public. Because in the end, that's when you cut democracy off. Which way do you want to go? Go this way. Okay. When you when you watched the scenes unfolding at the Capitol building. Yes. What were you thinking when you saw that? I, I was appalled. What we can't afford to do is have mob rule. And, it's, it, and, and that's the thing, isn't it? That we had the lone attack on Parliament, that people had died on the bridge outside Parliament, and, and our village policeman had actually died. And, you, you know, to, to be sat in the chair, and they run up to the chair and they say to me, there's an attack on Parliament. It's the shock, first of all. But it was a bigger shock to say there's a policeman dying. The fact that that policeman, our village Bobby, who we all knew, was lying on the street, who defended Parliament against that attack. I never ever want to go through a situation where we have another attack on Parliament, that terrorist attack, or picking up the phone to tell me that Joe Cox has died. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If I can be half the MP my sister was, then it will be a huge privilege to get on with the job of representing the wonderful people of Batley and Spen. Thank you. Can I, can I just say, we're all moved. We'll always think of your sister. And I know that you're going to be a great member of Parliament. Democracy fails if people can't come forward to become a politician. And that's why we've got to make sure that women are supported because they're the biggest target. We shouldn't have barriers and we shouldn't let them be intimidated. And that's why we put the real support in there and real structures to make sure that we've got a future generation of women and ethnic minority MPs coming forward. Parliament's got to reflect the country. If it doesn't, we've failed. Excuse me, it's not often you can bump into your MP. But it's lovely to see you. Am I all right? With no police, no day. visible security, doing this would be much more difficult for some politicians. To him, it's how it should be, but not at any cost. Yeah, lovely to see you. <laughs>